Hello again and welcome back to Legally Cited. This is Jesse here and I am back for an assistive technology spotlight and hardware button. review video. This time we are taking a look at a little cool device called the Vision Buddy VR headset. And just a dis quick disclaimer here, um, the folks at Vision Buddy did reach out to me a couple of weeks ago, saw my channel and wondered if I would be interested in testing and uh, trying out their Vision Buddy headset here and possibly doing a video for the channel. So I said, yeah, I'd love to check it out and we can uh, try to do a video for you. And so here we are. Most of the time I do buy all of the products and games and things that I review, but I want to let you guys know that I did in fact receive, receive this as a review device, which I will be returning here uh, in the near future. So the VR, uh, the Vision Buddy is a VR headset that is used for low vision magnification and watching TV. So it's kind of a combination head, head mounted CCTV headset and a device you can watch TV. In the box, you get the user guide, very okay. straightforward. It's just a quick start guide here. You get the headset itself. You get a carrying case. It's a hard carrying case on the top of it. And the inside you have a pocket with Velcro on it, so you can put all your HDMI cords and cables and stuff in there. Till left. In addition to the headset, you get an extra battery. So you get a little bit of a battery pack here, a Vision Buddy logo on it. Got your charging ports there. You get also the unique part about this is your HDMI transmitter. And what this does on the back, you've got a AC adapter port there, but on the front you have an audio port, HDMI in, right. HDMI out, and Ethernet port. And what this does, you hook whatever HDMI source you want to into this and then hook that to your TV. So if you have a cable box, if you have satellite, Amazon Fire Stick, Chromecast, Apple TV, you could hook your iPhone, iPad, tablet up there, whatever. HDMI, plug it in, and then you can view that directly wirelessly in the headset and still also on the TV. So the family could be watching the TV. You could be watching your own private big screen in your VR headset, making it easier to see. Whereas a lot of the other headsets, you look direct indirectly at the TV and depending on the lighting and the glare, you may or may not get a clear image. So this is actually really nice. I love the clarity that you do get when you are in the headset. It works quite well. The headset itself, one of the things that they really designed this around is being simple. This is not a smartphone attached to a VR headset or anything. This is just a headset. Think of it like a low vision Oculus Quest. All the brains, the camera, speakers, everything are in the headset itself. When you take it out of the box, it is one thing I noticed right away is that it's very light, especially in the front. So other headsets are a little bit heavier uh, because the battery and all the brains of it are up here. What Vision Buddy did is they put the battery in the back of the headset. This white piece here is the battery. It's got a nice little cushy back on there, a little pleather back on it. So it's still soft and everything, very comfortable. Either side, you've got your Velcro straps here, so I can adjust these side straps to the side, fit the size of your head. And then you have the top piece, which kind of helps keep the headset off of the bridge of your nose. And along with the, you kind of got the battery for ballast in the back, it really keeps the front of your headset light. I've been able to watch movies and TV episodes and stuff for a couple hours at a time, and really haven't had any comfort, comfort issues at all. On the front, no controls whatsoever, just the camera and the logo. Just a logo on the left side. The right side, you have a mode button, I'll talk about in a minute, and then you have zoom in and zoom out. That's it, You the main buttons you use for using this thing are the mode button, zoom in, zoom out. And they feel all tactically different, so the zoom out's got a kind of a bumpy line on it. The zoom in or the zoom out button has the the concave. The zoom in has the bump on the top of it. My bad. 
And then the zoom, the mode button is just a bigger but flat oval button. On the bottom, you have volume up, volume down, headphone jack, and a little, U, a little charger cable here, magnetic charger, and the power button. So your little button here is power, and that's it. That's the, all the controls on the vision, whoops, on the vision buddy. So I do wanna show you the one end of the, the charging cable. So here you have this round magnetic cable, and I shouldn't have flipped that over. If I flip this back, all I gotta do, put it right near this, just slides right in, magnetic, pull it away, and this charges your headset or that battery. Very easy to do. Now I do like the magnetic charger, um, but if you lose the cord or if the cord goes bad on you, you can actually, they do sell this type of magnetic USB connector on places like Amazon. That's what the people at Vision Buddy told me. You can just get them for a few bucks on Amazon and places like that. So it's not as proprietary as I originally thought it was, which is really nice. And if you're a low vision user, what's nice with this magnetic power is that let's say you trip over the cord, it'll just pull off the magnet instead of pulling the whole headset or ripping the cord out of the headset. So it'll, you know, it's a little bit safer that way. Um, that is the headset itself. There's really no more controls to it. The modes you have are when you turn it on, you're in magnification mode. Here is where you're using the headset like a CCTV. You put it on your head, you look at things, you read, you can do crafts, you can you know, put things together, do whatever little tasks you want to. I wouldn't recommend it for walking around. I wouldn't recommend it for like, you know, mobility, that kind of a thing. This is really meant more for sitting, standing, stationary tasks, that kind of a thing. But I've used it for a lot of different things, reading, uh, looking at a couple things in the kitchen, um, just a lot of different things. And even with my bad eyesight, I've actually been able to read standard size print if I zoom in pretty well. So I've had good luck with that. You hit the mode button, it goes into a reading mode, which is same thing as magnify, but you have dark background, light text, and then you have television mode. That's where the transmitter comes in. So you have your cable, your satellite, whatever on, you're gonna see that show up right in your headset. And when you're in the TV mode, you can use your zoom in, zoom out buttons. You start out with it fair, uh, zoomed out a little bit, but then you can zoom in more and it makes the screen a bit bigger and closer to your face. So when you have it really zoomed in, you may even have to look around a little bit like to see the corners of the screen because it gets really, really big, which is kind of cool. When you're in magnification mode, one of the things is if you hold down the mode button, you'll see a grid appear on your screen in the headset and you hold that down until you center that over a piece of paper and you can take a picture of a document, like a piece of mail, and then let go, it'll scan it and it'll read it aloud to you. Now that is the reading kind of OCR mode, which that's the one area I had a little bit of trouble with. I tried it in a lot of different scenarios, a lot of different lighting distances, and Sometimes I got good results, but a lot of times I really didn't get near the results that I wanted to. Um, so you'll just have to experiment with it and see what kind of results you get. Um, they are working on improving the OCR with it for a little bit. So if you're currently, if you're thinking about this as a standalone OCR headset primarily, probably wouldn't recommend it for that, but it is a nice bonus if you're using it for the magnification and the TV features. So um, yeah, I would say the OCR part is probably the, the stuff that I had the most trouble with. But otherwise, like I said, I was able to read with it fine. I was able to watch TV with it fine. Um, no problem there. The only thing that I would also mention that could be a drawback with this headset 
is this receiver is really meant for watching passive entertainment or passive video. Meaning I can watch a TV show, I can watch streaming video, I can watch whatever like that. But if I hook this up to my computer and wanted to use my mouse, if I wanted to play a video game console with it, there's about a second, maybe a little bit more of lag in the headset. So it, I actually found it kind of impossible to play games with this thing at the moment due to the latency. So they are working on an update, software update that will hopefully get rid of some of the latency and maybe even working on a better receiver that is meant more for interactive stuff like your computer, gaming, all that kind of stuff. So they are aware of it, they do know, and it's something that they're actively working on. So really the OCR and the uh, latency there, that's really about the only weaknesses that I really found in this headset. Otherwise, I found it easy to use, light, comfortable, and it generally worked pretty well. Um, I will leave a link to the description, to their webpage and their YouTube channel in the description below. This uh, Vision Buddy is available now for a right around three grand. It's like $29.95. And um, yeah, you get the headset, the receiver, the battery, all the stuff that comes with it that I showed you here. And um, thanks again to Vision Buddy for allowing me to give this a try and test it and, and uh, do this video. So we're going to wrap it up here. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, we'll give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. Until next time, I will chat with you guys again later.